rolling. Uh, so today, I, I didn't actually prepare anything. I just wanted to talk to the camera and talk about the dangers of being a content, content creator. The danger of being a content creator. Uh, so I've done, you know, created YouTube uh, videos for the past, I would say, year and a half, two years around there. I've been consistent on it, and I can tell you personally that it's hard every week. It's, some weeks, maybe once in a while, it's like, oh, the ideas are just rolling in, and I just feel on a roll, and, and I can create effortlessly. But most of the time, it's work. It's just like you have an idea, and then you need to put it out there and make it creative and make it sound interesting. And then you have all these doubts about yourself. Hey, am I, do I have an inter interesting personality? Can I deliver the words I'm trying to say and communicate effectively? So uh, it's hard, so right? So today is no exception. Uh, it's Tuesday, usually I try to re release a video on Tuesday, but it's like, what am I gonna create? I, you know, I feel burned out right now, especially since this weekend, this last weekend I shot two weddings and they were pretty long, they were pretty tiring, they, they were very fun to shoot. I really enjoyed them, but on Monday I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't feel good, I feel tired. Now come Tuesday, I'm still, okay, I'm picking up my energy. Uh, but still, it's like no good ideas. Like I need to put out something, right? And this is the danger of creating content. Sometimes you don't, you're not gonna feel like it. You're gonna feel like you don't have anything valuable to give, uh, especially if you're creating consistently. It's like, uh, how am I gonna come up with the next big thing or the next big idea that's gonna give me views? Because you know, I'm just like anyone else. We're thinking about the views, the subscribers. Hey, how do I grow this thing? Because it just seems like. Uh, it would be nice to hang out with those big YouTubers you admire, right? Wouldn't that be nice, you know, hanging around that circle and getting to know each other and actually being able to make this your full-time thing because that's one of my goals is to uh, be a full-time filmmaker or video creator, whatever you want to call it. Right now I have a, a, a full-time job and then I do freelance video production and also do this YouTube. So. It's quite a bit of a time investment. Hopefully by this year, by the end of this year, I can quit my day job and just focus full time on video creation. I'm trying to put out as much valuable content as possible. And for me, I just, you know, every video, video I want you to come out thinking, wow, that's really valuable information or that's very interesting. Especially if you're just starting out, I, I know that it's important to, to, for me at least, to document what I'm doing or what the new things I'm learning. And I might be wrong sometimes, and that's okay. You know, as you grow and you learn, you learn different things and you realize, hey, that information I gave before, that was wrong. Um, maybe I should update that or, or, you know, we're always afraid that someone's gonna come in and say, hey, you're wrong. And that's true, we could be wrong, I could be wrong. Whenever I'm trying to put out a video, it's like, uh, I don't wanna be wrong. So that, that fear comes in, right? This is part of creation, you just, you gotta realize that sometimes you're gonna, you're not gonna feel like creating anything. You're gonna be afraid of uh, how you come across. Am I being? Do I sound intelligent? Am I explain myself correctly? And you know, you have days like this where you just gotta uh, speak what's in your mind, right? So hopefully you guys found this uh, useful, this this information. Um, if you want to see more videos like this where I just talk to the camera and talk about the the everyday struggle of being a content creator then i'll be happy to share more because the, these these thoughts i know that if i'm having them on there's probably probably other people that are having the same thoughts and the same doubts and worries and doesn't matter where you're at if you're just starting out if you have no subscribers uh, 500 or a thousand or you're you know big 50,000 subscribers you probably still worry about uh, what are you going to create next am, am i do am i interesting enough or are you going to have you're going to wish you were at a next level so it never stops right there's always the next achievement that you want to you you know that you want to accomplish or want to get to so yeah please let me know what you guys think if you like this kind of content um anything you want to share down below that would be cool yeah i would love to connect with you guys so please go ahead and drop your comments down below all right so I'll talk to you guys next time.